Without further ado, let's report in. Wait, let's talk to Sherazard first. She's not here! Never mind! Let's talk to you. So I guess we're in the same boat. In fact, it's my pride and joy that I trained under Shara. She considered to be one of the best racers in the kingdom. I've worked together with her, and I can tell you that her nickname, Silver Streak, is not for show. Neat. Hearing this coming from someone else makes me realize it all over again. She doesn't seem to be around right now, though. So, uh... How did it go? Let's find out! Uh, we hit a few bumps in the road, but... Let me give you a brief report on the details. Joshua gives Ina a rundown of last night's events at the farm. Well, um... I got 7 BP. I think. No, that's what I had before. Okay, I got two bonus BP and no bonus money. I, I'll take it! So, I feel like that's telling me that I made the right decision at the farm. <gasps> I ranked up! What do I get for this? I don't remember. I looked it up before, but... <laughs> Information Quartz as a perk. I see. So you ended up setting the monsters free because the Pertzel family requested you to do so. I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, your job is to be able to discern those things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene with when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. Serious? The road to the big league sounds like a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> well, that's your only choice. Eh, let's try saying that again. Well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to work hard every day. And since you're both here anyway, why don't I give you the details for your next job? So, is it the mine? Is it the airship? The next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Claus himself. Good question. From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor about the details. But first... We did it! Plus 3 BP, plus 600 money... Good work. It seems like you've completed your job without any trouble. If you've finished any other jobs, please come back and report again. Ooh, there is some new stuff here. Rare mushroom that only grows where there are rich deposits of septium in the ground should be an easy, fun job. For details, please come seek me out. My name is Orvid, and I'll be waiting at the landing port. Uh, short term. So I should do this one right away, that means, right? Client Freddy. Uh, looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning orbment light in a road lamp on the Milch Main Road. I am searching for a flower known as the a bear claw and a savory finion. Pinion, actually. There's no H in there. The, the former is native to the forest of Mist 
Wild, south of Roland, excuse me, and the letter comes from an insect like monster. I might have that pinion even. Hmm. The soldiers stationed at the Vert Bridge are set to undergo special training. And we're looking for a few good men or women to pay, play the parts of enemy soldiers. If you're up to the task, contact Chief Warrant Officer Ashton at the Ver Checkpoint to the west end of the main road. Neat. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, I could do that, but I want to talk to... Wait, was it you? Hmm. Yep, that's true. There it is. Talk, talk to the right guy this time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. Do you think you'd be up for the task of replacing an ornament light in the, a road lamp along the military main road? Sure! Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot it needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll give you the replacement part. That's right. I want you to replace the ornament light in the road lap number six on the road to the west. It's the sixth lamp that you'll cross come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Talking is hard. Make sure you get the right one. Okay. Six digit combination! Yep. Uh. I am a. I'm gonna just, uh. Open this up and, uh. Five, four, four. Eight one eight. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but can you repeat that again? Five four four eight one eight. Yeah, Joshua's got it. Like no sweat. It's only six numbers, Estelle. I mean, really, you can't even remember that. <coughs> Okay. Gotcha. Oh. I see. That's actually very interesting. It's also interesting that it only affects big monsters. I see. <laughs> I wonder if I even needed to write it down. Well, whatever. We're gonna go do this. Like, right now. I like it that it still even said, maybe I should write, hurry and write this down. That's a sign. Is this a lantern? Maybe. Well, that's one. Two. Three, four, five, and six. From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. I'm fairly certain this is the right one as well. It says road lamp number six on the panel. Alrighty then, let's get to work and finish this job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. Monster! Monster. Oh no! It's a swarm! Uh... 
Joshua is better equipped to handle these, and also this will make Estelle look better. Come on, how hard could it be? Uh, wait, is Joshua in two different places? Says the girl who glued her hand to it. Come on, Estelle, did you really do that? Well, I hope you got some solvent around. Okay, yeah, there are four of them, so uh, I think I made the correct choice, to be honest. <laughs> Joshua is better equipped to handle a swarm of monsters. Okay, the regular kick does not deal that much damage, it seems. It's only the charge that is freaking awful. Okay, we're gonna dual strike that one. These do seem to be pretty weak cats, it must be said. Although, there are still four of them, or at least there was. Oh no, Joshua, you missed! Well, you hit that time. And that was the critical hit, too, so... Good job? Okay, the charging is scary. Uh, if I can get close enough, then I want to hit you. That looks like I can get close enough. Oh no! No, Joshua! No! Ow! Okay, you did it this time! You did it! And... I think I can just finish this one off the regular way. Okay, we made it! We did it! We're good to go! It is 544818. Um. <laughs> we did it! And hopefully we'll get bonus points for having done it ourselves instead of having Joshua do it for us. Hopefully. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> Considering the circumstances, it seems pretty reasonable to me. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Oh, Estelle. I feel like probably the best result is doing it this way, and the worst result would be doing it this way but screwing up. So, like, the middle result, the averaging result, would be having Joshua just fix the thing for you. That is my assumption. Okay, what's next on the list after this? Uh, I should probably talk to the mayor at some point. Uh, but I don't need to do it immediately. I had a medium length one. Was that the soldiers or was it the other one? Oh. Right. I guess I need to talk to, uh, I need to talk to this guy first. We're back! Oh, hi Estelle! From the look at your face, it seems you've finished your job. Yep, and we did a fine job, too. 
Though we did have a few hang-ups, we thought we'd report to you as a matter of good measure. So it really was burnt out. Huh. I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry, kids. You were put into harm's way because of me. Uh, that, I suppose it does. Dealing with dangerous jobs. Ja did I just say dangerous? It's part of being a bracer's work. Part of a bracer's work. What, what are words? Like, there were too many in that thing that I just done, did say. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Oh, that reminds me. Cool. Prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks. If you need anything to discuss about ornaments, then stop by any time. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs as well. Okay. So, I want to look at that, but also I forgot to look at the other one of that I got. Uh, this one! Which is time. Ooh, it's a times two. Be able to perceive enemy status. And impede! Prevent enemy arts with 50% success. It does lower my agility. Um... Just F for reference say you have four agility. You're faster than Estelle. Estelle has four agility with this thing. Okay, agility is not speed. Gotcha. Yeah, let's throw that on. I also want to see if I get something new if I put this on you. I do not. Okay. Um, I guess we'll turn it in. Oh, plus one BP. So we didn't do a bad thing, even if we didn't necessarily do the best possible solution either. And maybe it's possible to get minus as well, for all I know. Um, seems like it. <laughs> 